Hi guys, I'm Jen, one of the SAT teachers here at Newton. Hopefully you've all gotten a chance to give our tough SAT verbal challenge question a try. I've got it written on the board up here behind me. So let's go ahead and walk through it and see what the correct answer is. All right, practitioners of acupuncture, ouch, often express that it is at once complex because it is rich in detail, although it is understandable due to its basis on an organized map of the human body. Okay, so I can see that we're describing acupuncture here, and we're describing acupuncture as having a couple of different qualities, right? What do we say about acupuncture? Well, we say it's complex, and then we give a reason why it's complex, because it's rich in detail. And then we say it's understandable, and we give a reason why it's understandable. Oh, well, it's based on an organized map of the human body. Okay, cool. So I've got two words in the sentence here, and they're functioning in the same way. They're in the sentence for the same reason, to describe acupuncture. So there's a rule on the SAT. When words or phrases in a sentence are functioning in the same way, they have to be in the same grammatical form. You might have heard this described as parallelism. Now another clue I can look for to tell me that these ideas need to be in the same grammatical form is what's called connector buddies. Okay, so I see this at once and this although. Okay, so that tells me that we've got multiple elements of the sentence that need to function in the same way. And connector buddies are words that do just that. They connect two parts of a sentence. So you wanna think of connector buddies like, I don't know, maybe you have a friend like this or maybe you know a pair of friends like this. They like to do all the same things, right? They go to the same movies, they go to the same restaurants, they wear matching outfits, they drive the same car, right? Connector buddies are the same way. They connect the same parts of speech, okay? So our first connector buddy here at once is not underlined, which means it can't change. So I've got at once, complex. Complex is an adjective, so I know I have to connect the adjective complex to another adjective, okay? So let's look at our answer choices here. Well, I've got at once complex in the original sentence, although it is understandable. Uh-oh, not the same part of speech, right? Now I'm connecting an adjective complex to a pronoun it. So A, you're out of there. How about B? I've got at once complex, an adjective, but it's understandable. Another pronoun, not correct. How about C? At once complex and understandable. Well, that looks good, right? I've got adjective to adjective, so I'm definitely gonna hold on to C. D, at once complex while they understand. That plural pronoun, not an adjective, D's out of there. How about E? At once complex and it is understandable. That's a pronoun, not an adjective, E is out of there. Okay, so just based on the fact that I know my connector buddies have to connect the same parts of speech, I've gotten rid of four answer choices and I'm left with C as the correct one. Now there's another way you can get to the correct answer choice here, and that's by knowing how the connector buddies pair. I've got this at once as my first connector buddy. Well, what is at once friends with? What is the buddy of at once? Idiomatically, it's and, okay? So an idiom is something that's true in English just because that's how we say it. So idiomatically, at once goes with and. So we say it's at once complex and understandable. Not it's at once complex but understandable or at once complex while understandable. We can only say it's at once complex and understandable. If you take a look, the only other answer choice that has and as an option is E, but we already saw that that's not grammatically parallel, so it's out of there, okay? So remember, when you see those connector buddies in an SAT sentence, remember, they like to connect the same parts of speech. So you have to check and make sure that they are parallel. Thanks so much, guys. Uh, hope you enjoyed this challenge question and hope to see you in class soon.